What the heck is going on everybody? I'm here to talk about Claw a little more in depth than I have before. Um, a couple other times I've posted Claw tutorial videos and it's just been kind of a gameplay of me playing. This time I'm going to go a little more in depth on how I actually hold the controller and uh, you know ways that you can adapt yourself from holding the controller standard to holding it like you're playing Claw. And just some tips on how to get through that transition period between playing normal and playing like a weirdo like me. Um, but it'll save you some money on controllers. This is just a standard old PS4 controller that I had to buy on Amazon because my sprint button, sprint button broke on the last one. But yeah, I mean, $40 for a controller is much better than having to replace a scuff or, you know, however expensive those things can be. Um, but I'll start out just showing you the grip that I hold it. It's just like this. Um, so from that angle, you see I got three fingers underneath here. The middle one kind of being over extended a little bit. Whereas on these two, I only have two fingers holding it down here. My middle finger is the shooter, and my first finger kind of goes and presses all the buttons, whether it be reload, switch weapons, crouch, jump, got your punch, like normal. So I play on default. Let me show that up here. I do switch L1, L2, and R1, R2, because if your claw and your index fingers up here, it's a little bit weird to have that the, uh, the right middle finger down. I mean, it's fine, and you can you can definitely do that, but just this, this increased space between the two of them is just a little bit weird, whereas here it's a little bit more natural. Default button layout. Here are my other settings if you care for them. I don't like controller vibration, but you know, different strokes for different folks. If you're trying to make the transition, if you're a normal gamer, play with three fingers down low, your two fingers up top, two index fingers up top, and then your thumbs doing all the button pressing, doing all this stuff. The good news is for you, your left hand doesn't have to do anything. Just keep it the exact same. The one thing I would change is if you do three fingers down, I would move your middle finger to out just like that so that the controller has more support. Whereas here, it's like it just seems heavier. There's more of a torque going on there. Whereas here, you get more stability and allows your right hand to be more um, kind of loose on the controller, not as like sturdy and having to hold on to it as much. And it can flow and then you can lightly kind of go over all the buttons, do whatever pressing you need to do over there. But the other thing is, if you've been playing like this all your life, or with the scuff, however, um, it's going to take a while to have the muscle memory required to change it up. So it's going to take practice, it's going to take a lot of time. Your shot's going to be really bad, because in terms of the angle your thumb is pressing this at, from down here, you know, you're kind of in a more lengthened, extended position with this. Whereas when you get up on the claw version, you kind of have more of a little little flex to the distal joint of your thumb. But you'll get there. Um, it'll, it'll take time and practice, but it'll save you money and uh, more stuff like that in the long run. So basically anything in this whole portion of the controller, this finger's gonna do. It's gonna do it. Healing here, aiming here. My middle finger does everything over here. I mean, it's not much more difficult than that. Just get to it, get practicing, and uh, get cracked, and you guys will get there. Um, but I'm going to hop into a game right now, show it in action, in case that helps you guys out. Switching weapons just like, just like that. Quick and easy. I didn't switch my sense or anything, did I? I did. The heck, I really don't just mess everything up. Nice. Basically, you just need a cracked out index finger. So you can do all the actions you want to do. And a lot of it, like I said, is muscle memory. 
come in. So this is the type of thing where YY really helps you like remain cracked. It helps keep your index finger warm as you're moving around. So that's one thing I would uh you know I would recommend. Maybe not necessarily all the time, just like once every and once every now and then. You know? After you slide and don't see anybody, just hit them with a YY so your index finger stays warm. And for you people that are just making that transition into playing claw, this will help you guys out because because you know how often do you actually crouch or jump in a game? When you're first learning, you're not doing it that much. So being able to YY when you're not doing anything. It's a good way for your uh, for you to still get used to that index finger without having the use necessarily be like important, if that makes any sense. Dude, that guy with the shotgun is nuts. What shotgun is that? That's the other thing that I do wrong, and if you guys were to uh, to be learning right now, I would recommend don't hold your middle finger out as far as I do, because I accidentally hit the scoreboard all the time, and it's so annoying. If you could like, if you could find a proper way to hold it without it touching the this button, then please let me know, because I'm tired of that. I do that all the time.
Squad eliminated. Attack on. Deploy UAV on my grid. Alright. Well, there you have it, everybody. Government forces take the win. Playing Claw. Let me know if this was useful, if I can do anything else to help you guys out. Um, and let me know how the grind goes for you guys that are making the switch over. Um, I hope I was able to help. I'll catch you guys in the next one.